I listened to a little bit of this album when it first came out, but I don't remember much about it. I think I listened to like two songs, so I'm excited to actually get into it and and kind of analyze it and you know actually give it a listen. If you're not on my Patreon, it was a three-way tie between this Indistinct Reign of Silence and Contortionist Exoplanet. And then I did like a tiebreaker poll and this one. Track one, it begins to speak. Looks like this is instrumental because there's not an option to hit lyrics thing. It has lyrics, but I've noticed a lot of their songs don't have lyrics up on Spotify, unfortunately. Well, the thing with Spotify, um, I don't know if you know about how lyrics and stuff works, but it's through a third party app called Music Match. And you can like apply to become a curator. Like I, I'm a curator. I can go in here and I can add lyrics to stuff and sync up tracks and stuff. I did that when when Drew reacted to um, Masadin. I went and I like synced up all the lyrics and made sure they were all there for that because I was really excited for him to, to listen to that and like most of the tracks were missing lyrics. That's how lyrics work. So if, if there's no lyrics for this, it means someone just hasn't put them up on, on Music's Metric. This is going to hit. Nope. <laughs> Still building. Oh, this is going to kill me, isn't it? I'm going to die. Come on! Dude! Drop it already! Let's go! Woo. Yeah, this is, this is about how I, how I remember it being. I, like I said, I only listened to the first few tracks in this album. Yeah, this is... Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Definitely. Ooh! Love that. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Definitely very very nostalgic like old yeah 2000s metalcore vibes but in the year 2022 even if i have the lyrics in front of me i don't really process the lyrics because i'm listening more musically to what is going on so then it takes me a few listens to actually get into the the lyrics and like that sort of stuff because lyrics aren't really like my favorite part of an album i'm thinking of doing like uh, a maybe like a patreon exclusive sort of like monthly recap of all the stuff that I've listened to over the month and kind of talking about like how my thoughts have evolved over the month. Like, do I like it more? Do I dislike it more? I'll probably do like a sort of like podcasty episode sort of thing and kind of talk about that. Ah. Uh. Throw that. <laughs> this is so all over the place, I love it. Ooh. Oh. These songs are all over the place, I love it. This is, it's so much fun. It's, it's so good, and they have... They've got like the like little bits of of melodies and chord progressions in there that are really interesting, like that part where you had like uh, like th this. And it, it had like little bits of that. Yes. Hit that symbol.
Oh, that like alarm sound is so cool. So fun, dude. <laughs> Clean. Oh yeah, but let's go. Nice. I miss the style. This is so early two thousands. <laughs> Good old crap floor. If I was a guitarist, I would be squatting down and. I need a haircut, man. It's like it keeps falling in my face. Oh, that's good. Nice chord progression, too. <laughs> Ding! Oh! Oh, there's the title. I'm sure people die at these shows. This is the emotional track of the album, huh? This is this one's so different. Interesting. I love this track. This is my favorite one so far. These are the kind of fifth focus choruses that I like. Where this is like. Like this is this is the fifth of the key here, but it's it's to build atmosphere and it's this older style where it was more popular, and it works better with this. So I'm not as hard on like fifth focus choruses when they're going for that particular style. I actually really like it like that. I'm just noticing now the last track is ten minutes long. Are you kidding me? What am I in for with that? That's a fun riff with that like. That part on top. And his vocals. The world walks by my cage as I attempt to color each day in a way that makes me want to stay. In a way that makes me worth the air that I We turn to a slam poetry session here. Rebuild. Ah. Ah, oh, this is so good. <laughs> e. You highlighted a message for E. This this album is so good. It's not it's not like a ten out of ten masterpiece, like mind blowing prog that like makes you rethink reality, but it's not trying to be. And it's so good at what it is. I love this. My body is a cage. All right, kid. Switch up, switch up, why not? Why not? Switch it up. No. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> they broke the mix. <laughs> Tripalowski. Yo, we had a rave? Is this corn? Yeah, corn le- What? <laughs> This is so atmospheric. Wow. What a wild two tracks back to back. Title track. That's a good riff. Ooh, it's so bouncy. Oh. Oh, here we go. There's the right symbol. I was waiting for it. Ah, oh, this hits, man. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, we getting shoegazy? What's happening here? Oh man! Ah, oh, these lyrics, dude. <laughs> the cleans. We're building to something. What is happening? Is it this for five minutes? Oh no. I've heard about this. I've heard- I've heard people talking about this. I'm- it's all coming back to me. I just remember now people talking about this crazy outro of this album. <laughs> Sounds like a space washing machine. I'm afraid to talk. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, my chest. <laughs> they wrote their dinner break into the song. <laughs> what an album. That was, that was something else. This, this is, this is something special.